call for action discusses how can we best address the problem of open textbook translation. It discusses whether a platform should exist, or how can we best and more easily find open translated textbooks. Translation and localization not only encourages sharing, but it also empowers local instructors. Open textbooks have been easily enhanced and localized. Open textbooks can save hundreds of dollars per student. Textbooks have increased in price much faster than inflation. Yet, when we think of the problem globally, the savings are much larger, as many individuals worldwide live under less than a dollar a day, less than two dollars a day, and 80% of humanity lives within less than ten dollars a day. Yet, unlike Wikipedia, which is available in 285 languages, translated open textbooks are much more difficult to find. Wikibooks does have over 2400 English books alone, yet it does not focus on textbook translation. While governments are increasingly trying to provide a high quality primary, secondary, and tertiary education for their citizens, governments with limited resources are having a difficult time providing the resources needed to meet this goal. Open textbooks can greatly help reduce some of the burden governments will have in providing this high quality education for all. UNESCO has done an amazing job in promoting openness and coining the phrase open education resources and there are many resources available in different languages including audiobooks, courses, and regular books. Yet most educational resources remain available only in a few languages, primarily in English. Some sites have, however, been successful in translating many other contents into other languages. One of the most successful of them all is TED.com, which has translated thousands of TED Talks and has hundreds or perhaps thousands of translators. Their model could perhaps be adopted to translate it open textbooks. There are also various other successful translation examples that could be followed by an open textbook translation project, including MIT OpenCourseWare project. MIT OpenCourseWare has been translated into Turkish, Chinese, Spanish, and various other languages reaching students by the millions worldwide. Universia.net is a good example of a consortium that was built to help translate open courseware into Spanish. Yet yeah, there's much more than can be done and many resources are not translated into least spoken languages worldwide. With this in mind and knowing that text is a little bit easier to translate than video, can we challenge the open community or the community worldwide to translate these resources into different languages? Yet yeah, while it sounds like a positive goal, translation can take a long time, especially when it's done manually. However, machine translation has greatly improved over the past few years. After a rough translation, experts worldwide to check and verify that the translation has retained the quality of the content. This is one of the benefits of an open community. We can all contribute from different countries and different places into making sure that the translation retains the accuracy and quality that is expected of a textbook that can help thousands or even millions of students. And this translation would not only help internationally, but many nations worldwide have minority or least spoken languages within their boundaries, and it could also help them localize content. For example, in California, where 50 textbooks were recently approved to be created with an open license, is an example of where multiple languages could be beneficial in the creation of open textbooks. Looking at related projects such as Project Gutenberg and other projects which just specialize in distributing content and helping people both localize it, modify it, and adapt it, and thinking of all the great resources that are out there, but yet how difficult it is to find one site where translations can all be located, as they are all spread out through many different places, and for the most part, translations are not really available, and one has a difficult time finding one when working in an international project. Translated books will help many projects, including the Open Education Research University, Sailor.org, and many other educational sites. From many sites that have been successful and failed before, we can also think of elements that we could include to increase the success of such a site. With this in mind, 
would it be beneficial to create a new site or perhaps an easy way for an existing site to provide for translations? If you have an interest in this topic, I would love to talk to you about this issue. And if the conversation is already going somewhere, I would love to be able to join it. I think together we can think of the best way to make this possible. Thanks. Feel free to contact me over email or Skype, and here are some questions that may help further the conversation. Thanks.